Are you an investor looking to buy a property in a college town? Then this one's for you. In this video, we will discuss how do investors define a college town? Reasons to invest in a college town. Reasons not to invest in a college town. Three things you should consider before investing in this way. I'll give some tips for managing a rental property in a college town. And I'll give the top five locations that are ideal for student housing. Navigate the video using the timeline below. College towns are areas in our country that are rather dominated by the university student population. Many people consider college towns idyllic places to live given their vibrant culture and usually thriving economies. There are several good reasons for real estate investors to consider college towns for their portfolio expansion. As there are nearly 7,000 colleges and universities spread across the country, it only makes sense that students, especially out of town students, would need a decent home to live in while they're at school. Real estate investors are put in the position to help fill that need while meeting a few of their own financial and investment needs along the way. To see the bigger picture, you need to understand what a college town has to offer. Continuous demand for housing. Student housing solutions are one of the, the better investment strategies, mainly because there will never be a lack of people looking for student housing apartments. Every year, there is a fresh batch of students coming into the area. While campus housing is great, there is a point in every student's life where they want to be out on their own and have their own lives with their friends independently. Therefore, investors provide that need. Reliable economies. Another reason for investing in college towns is uh, their reliable and thriving economy thanks to the attractions and tourism the universities provide. No matter how unstable the market gets, investing in college towns has always been rather promising, it seems. A college town's economy has the potential to generate a good enough cash influx to protect it against market fluctuations. Flexibility in rates. Because there is a continuous demand for student housing, landlords and property owners have the advantage of setting their rental rates at market value. Generally, college towns see a rather low vacancy because of the influx of both students and university employees every year. And even during breaks where occupancy is low, income properties can be rented out as vacation rentals. So if you're thinking of investing in a college town, it might be good to do so now while mortgage rates are still affordable. Now, let's talk about some cons of investing in student apartments. First is competition. There may be more competition for properties in college towns, as investors from all over the country are aware of the high demand for rentals. Unfortunately, college towns are known for being popular with investors, and this can make it difficult to find a good deal on a property. Community changes. College towns can be rather unpredictable. For example, if a large university decides to expand or to build a new campus somewhere, this can affect property values surrounding it. Seasonal occupants. Uh, college towns are seasonal, and, and this means that there may be vacant properties during the summer months when students are not in school. As we mentioned, you can make vacation homes out of your properties, but if you're not interested in that, it can make it difficult to generate a consistent income from this kind of rental alone. What kind of properties make the best investments for renting to college students? The best investments for renting to college students are usually properties that are close to campus. And this is because students typically don't have cars and they don't want to live, therefore, too far from where they're going to school. Physically speaking, the type of property that can be a good investment for renting to college students is a house or building that can be divided into multiple apartments. And this is because students often like to live with roommates in order to save money, and they're in college, so they want to be with their friends, and this setup often allows people to be close by to them. So this means multifamilies, such as duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes, they can all be really great investments for this situation. Also, traditional apartment buildings can be great for investments as well. Even things like mixed use can work for this purpose. Think along the lines of a commercial unit on the bottom floor and apartments on the second and third. And again, the closer to campus, the better chances of having a fully leased unit. 
let's talk about some considerations you should think of when searching for a real estate property for this purpose. First is safety. It's important to consider the safety of a neighborhood when investing in a property for renting to college students. And this is because students are often targets for crime, it seems. Uh, they're perceived to have money and have valuable belongings, believe it or not. Therefore, it's important to invest in a property that is in a safe area. Another consideration is noise. College students are often staying up late studying or partying sometimes, and this can be disruptive to neighbors. Therefore, it's important to invest in a property where the property is in a neighborhood in which noise won't be an issue. Third, you want to make sure your property is properly zoned for rental purposes. In some college towns, there are restrictions on how many people can live in a single family home. And this is because the town wants to prevent houses from being turned into those crazy party houses that you see on the news. So if you're investing in a property for this purpose or for renting to college students, you'll want to make sure that it's zoned for this purpose. What are some of the best tips for managing a rental property in a college town? First, have a great screening process for tenants. This is important because you want to make sure that you are renting to responsible students who will take care of your property. Have a strict late payment policy. College students often have a lot of expenses. They're on their own for the first time. They're covering their own bills and some may have trouble paying rent on time because of that. Be flexible with lease terms. Student schedules can be unpredictable. They may need to move out mid semester. They may not be able to pay past a certain date. And you should always try and work it out with them if you can. Number four, be understanding of noise complaints. There will inevitably be parties at your property and you as the landlord must figure out how to best cope with it. And number five, have a great relationship with the local police department. As we spoke of, sometimes students are targets for crime and things that draw attention to them. So you should always make sure that your tenants and your properties are safe. Next, let's discuss how to find real estate to purchase. With hundreds of college towns across the United States, uh, we have narrowed down the top five locations that are ideal for residential housing, uh, with a special emphasis on university housing apartments. Criteria for the selection process. Two main factors were considered when coming up with this list. The first, of course, uh, has to do with it being near an educational establishment. Second, this list is ranked according to the location's viability and profitability. For real estate investors looking to start a rental property business, uh, we have done some of the digging for you. The locations have been ranked based on cash on cash return rate from highest to lowest. And of course, all data is provided by Mashvisor.com, the real estate company that specializes in property location and real estate market analysis. Important metrics used for ranking. The list also contains the following metrics to give investors a better idea of how much potential each location has. Median property price. This indicates a fair market value for a single property in an area. Average price per square foot. This shows how much a property is worth in square footage in a given location. Days on market. This metric shows how long or short a property stays on the multiple listing services. Investors sometimes refer to this to determine if a location is a seller or buyer's market. Monthly traditional rental income. This number indicates the average monthly rental income traditional rental properties make. Traditional cash on cash return. This metric shows a property's potential profitability by taking the net operating income and dividing it by the total amount of cash invested in a property. It's a great way of projecting the return on investment as it takes into account the financing method used to purchase a property. Traditional cap rate. A cap rate is another metric investors look to to see how much return on investment they will get. But unlike cash on cash return, the cap rate formula simply divides the NOI by the property's actual cost or market value. It assumes that a property is or will be purchased with all cash. Price to rent ratio. This number shows whether or not it's better to buy a house or to rent one. Locations with a high price to rent ratio typically imply the affordable housing is hard to come by and renting is perhaps the best possible option at this time. 
and walk score. The walk score just shows how walkable an area is. A uh, higher score means there is less need for a vehicle to get around. Now, having said that, here are the top 10 locations for investing in student accommodation. Number one, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Among all the college towns on this list, Pittsburgh goes straight to the top with a 2.52 cash on cash return. It may be quite bigger than most cities on this list, but its student population is somewhat at pace with its population as a whole. Pittsburgh is home to many universities and colleges, including the University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon University. Number two, Ithaca, New York. Nearly half of Ithaca's population is made up of students. With a student population of 27,400, investors have a lot of opportunity to make a decent amount of money by starting a student apartment business. Number three, Gainesville, Florida. From 2007 to 2011, Gainesville was recognized as the second fastest growing city in the country. It is a city with a thriving economy, pleasant weather, and lots of entertainment options. These, along with some of the top educational institutions in the region, make it a great investment option. Number four, Iowa City, Iowa. Uh, just like most of the college towns on this list, Iowa City student population makes up nearly half of its actual population. It has a well-established literary scene, a great nightlife, and a caring community that gives back. These things make student housing in Iowa City an investment worth considering. And number five, Ames, Iowa. Ames is a small town and it has so much to offer in terms of living standards. It's a young city with an average age of only 24, thanks to more than half of the population being students. With a reputable university right nearby, vibrant nightlife and plenty of job opportunities, Ames is a great place to start a rental property business specifically aimed at students. So let's wrap up. Regardless of what investors may feel about college towns, it might do them some good if they paid attention to these locations a bit more. Investing in student housing in these towns has, has so much to offer an investor, especially those uh, looking for long-term investment stability. To find out more information about the areas mentioned, check out MeshVisor.com. MeshVisor has a massive database of almost every real estate market across the United States. It offers users access to some of the best real estate investment tools as well, available online. You can get a free seven day trial by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I will see you next time.